Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. This is lecture number 11 of the series of lectures on class 6 mathematics and this is the important chapter of factors and multiples, prime numbers, divisibility rules and whatnot. The topic which I am going to take up relates to finding the factors of a particular number, finding the multiples and some problems using the prime numbers. So, Watch the entire video, you are going to learn something very useful today. Let me tell you about the best offers going on on our channel. The ebook of short tricks, nearly 338 neatly typed pages, and uh, it contains over 350 short tricks covering 24 different topics of quantitative aptitude. Must acquire ebook if you are preparing for any Olympiad or NTSC exam or uh, you know SSC CGL railways banking exam and whatnot. The reasoning course, this is already creating waves in the market. CBSC practice worksheets, uh, you know, these worksheets which we have bought up for class 6 to 10th are, you know, being used by most of the teachers uh, to teach and to give assignments. And if you complete all the worksheets of a particular class, you are thorough with that particular class. So WhatsApp 9896369963 to get hold of a copy of those word, uh, nominal costing worksheets and uh, you can pay a visit to www.sureshagarwal.in. Now for uh, uh, you know this particular topic, I have made a 60 question PDF, a practice PDF uh, with answer key and uh, the link of that particular PDF has been given in the description box below. So if you click the description box, the link in the description box, uh, it will take you to the uh, PDF uh, location and you can download it from there. So let's see what are the questions which I have to take up for this particular video. Writing all the factors of a particular number. The first question, this is 100. You know, if you write prime factors of a number, prime factors, I'm talking about prime factors. If you do prime factorization of 100, this is going to be 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 5 is 20 and 20 times 5 is 100. So we have done the prime factorizations. How many 2's are there? 2 2's, right? 2 2's. And how many 5's? 2 5's. What you have to do to ensure that you don't miss out on any factor is just increase these number of factors by 1. Increase these number of factors by 1. So you get 3 and a 3. Just multiply them and you get the total number of factors. There are 9 factors of 100. Now let us list all the 9 factors. Now I am sure you are not going to miss out on any factor. 1, 2, 4, 5 and after 5 you have 10. And then we have uh, directly we have the number 20. And then we have 25 and then we have 50 and then finally the number itself that is 100. So how many factors? Just count. You will get exactly 9 factors. Now this is a very important thing when you are uh, studying in class 6 or preparing for any competition. You should know how many factors are there for a particular number so that you don't miss out on any factor. Okay. Now look at the second question. He is asking us to find the sum of all factors of 18. So, if you do prime factorization of 18, this is 2 times 3 times 3. So, there is 1, 2 and 2, 3s. So, if you increase this by 1, uh, you get 2 and increase this by 1, you get 3. So, there are 6 factors. And what are the factors? Factors are 1, 2, 3 and then we have 6 and then 9 and then 18 itself. So, there are six factors. Now he is asking us to add these factors. See 18, 9 plus 1, 10. So that makes it 28 and 6 plus 3, 9 plus 2, 11. So 28 plus 11, the answer gives you 39 is the sum of all the factors of 18. 18 and 9 plus 1, 10, 28. 28 and 11 makes it 39. Let's have a look at some more questions. Write all prime numbers less than 20. That's pretty easy, right? Only mistake the students do is they write 1 also as a prime number. Remember, 1 is neither prime nor composite. So, 
we start with 2 3 5 then we have 7 and after 7 8 9 10 they are not prime so 11 13 14 15 16 they are not prime 17 and finally we have the number 19 so these are the how many eight prime numbers less than 20 now write our prime numbers between 20 to 50 so from 20 onwards if you see 21 divide it's divisible by 3 22 is even 23 is the first prime after 20 24 25 26 27 28 they are not prime 29 is prime 30 is obviously not prime 31 is prime and then we have 32 33 34 35 36 all of them are composite numbers and then we have 37 as the prime number 38 39 40 they are all composite numbers and then we have 41 as prime number 43 as prime number and after that 44 45 46 they are not primes we have only 47 as the prime number so these are all the prime numbers from 20 to 50 so now you know all the prime numbers from 1 to 50 rather using these two questions now there are some more very important questions in the practice pdf which i have made for this particular lecture express 83 as a sum of three odd primes there is only one even prime right two so you have to express 83 as a sum of three odd prime numbers now there are numerous ways in which you can do this actually so i'll tell you some of them and you can tell me some of them in the comments box below. So I'll wait for your answers for this question. Okay. So let's try 11, 29 and 43. All of them are prime. Just add them. 43 and 29 gives you 72 and plus 11 gives you 83. Likewise, if you start from uh, 3, you have 3, 37 and uh, this is uh, 40, right? Plus 43. There we go. Yet another triplet which gives you a sum of 83. If you start from 17, you have 17, 23 and 43. See, 43 is a part of all the three uh, triplets which I told you. So, that also gives you uh, 80. And then uh, if you use 17 and then uh, split these two into 29 and 37, I think this also gives you 83. And I'll tell you one more. Uh, use 23 two times. This gives you 46 and 37 gives you 83. So these are only some of the ways in which 83 can be expressed as a sum of three prime numbers. There are so many other ways. So I'll wait for your comments, uh, you know, for this particular question. Let's see the last one. Write all two digit prime numbers whose unit digit is seven. Okay. So all numbers, all two digit numbers whose unit digit is seven. They start with 17, 27, 37, 47. I'm writing everything and then we will strike off whichever are not prime. So 77, 87 and 97. These are all two digit numbers ending in 7. 17, yes, it is prime. 27 is divisible by 3, so not prime. 37, yes, obviously is prime. 47 again, yes, it is prime. And then 57 is divisible by 19 or divisible by 3 also. So it's not prime prime 67 is prime 77 is divisible by 11 not prime 87 is divisible by 3 not prime and then 97 is prime so only five two digit numbers ending in 7 are prime 17 37 47 67 and 97 friends huge collection of questions so that you can practice all these concepts which i told you just now this is going to be really, really amazing for your preparation for the school exams and for the quantitative aptitude competitive exams. So if you're liking all these uh, videos, you know, you can uh, share it with all those classic students who are entering into this particular grade this year so that they can prepare systematically using all these videos and using all the practice worksheets which I am uh, posting in the links below. So click the link to download a copy of that 60 question practice worksheet based on this concept do subscribe the channel for more such useful videos do click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications thanks for watching this video